All right, welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for a video on cryptocurrency every day. My name's Austin. The cryptocurrency market is dipping and we're dipping hard. It is a sea of red right now. Now, some people call that a sea of opportunity, a buy the dip situation. I'll leave that up to you. In today's video, I wanna put five coins to five million on your radar, or in other words, a few specific cryptos that I feel do have solid growth potential into 2022. The two things to keep in mind, number one, I am not a registered financial advisor. I ultimately don't know what the price of these coins will do tomorrow, and neither do you. What we can do is see which projects are actually making progress and make our own decisions from there. That's number one. Number two is investing in cryptocurrency is very risky understand the risk before you choose to invest. That being said, check the timestamps down below in the video description and let's jump in. Coin number five on today's list, right now ranked in the mid 200s, trading at about $13 per coin, per token, is Injective Protocol. Now we've mentioned Injective on this channel before. Altcoin Daily actually put Injective on your radar back in November of 2020. Back then, it was trading at just a few dollars. Now, of course, the growth is undeniable. And the reason it makes today's list, and by the way, this was also just recognized by TechCrunch, is because Injective Protocol just raised an additional $10 million from major players like Pantera Capital, billionaire investor Mark Cuban, and it's being referred to as sort of the DeFi Robinhood. So obviously these guys do see a lot of upside potential. And before we dig into that article, first off, what is Injective? Well, the aim is to be able to explore unlimited financial markets on Injective's fast, secure, and fully decentralized Layer 2 DEX. So basically, it is a derivatives exchange with a few unique features like Layer 2 speed, also zero gas fees, and a user interface that's meant to go head-to-head -head and compete with some of their main competition, centralized derivatives exchanges. Who are the major players that just backed Injective? Several investors, including billionaire entrepreneur Mark Cuban, Pantera Capital, Block Tower, Hash Ventures, CMS Holdings, and QCP Capital participated in this round. So to me, that's a green flag. And in a direct quote from one of Injective's leadership, this was a private placement token sale, and we sold tokens with a lockup period at a $1 billion plus valuation. Interesting. So obviously a big deal and what this means to you, the lockup specifically, the lockup period is one year. So at least in the short term, that does give us as investors some security. Now, Injective was already live. So where were these tokens taken from? And now what will this capital now be used for? Injective Protocol's native token, INJ, is already live and trading, but the new tokens were issued to the investors from the protocol's treasury. And now with the fresh capital at hand, Injective looks to enhance its platform and double its current team of 22 by next year. That's a lot of growth potential, I'd say. Give me your thoughts. I want to know what you would say down below in the comment section. Now, obviously, we could always go into more detail. Expect that for Injective in a future video. But let's keep going. Next up, coin number four on today's list which although is dipping now with the market, I feel has some strong potential into this next year, is Celo. Right now ranked in the mid 100s, while Celo isn't a small cap project by any means, it's definitely a coin to watch. Because next piece of news, this just happened yesterday, phone giant Deutsche Telekom invests in Celo's crypto network. So not only is this a first for the company to invest and jump in to crypto infrastructure, but they also now hodl some of Celo's tokens. Interesting. Before we dig into this news, first, what is Celo? Celo is a platform acting as a global payment infrastructure for cryptocurrencies that aims to target mobile users. So think of Celo as aiming to be a decentralized Venmo. Celo's standout feature is a tool that maps users' phone numbers to the public key for a blockchain wallet. This serves to simplify access to crypto, especially for people in developing countries who may lack familiarity with the technology 
or who don't have access to popular crypto exchanges. Now, Celo is also a smart contract platform for dApps. In addition to basic payments, Celo can support the development of decentralized applications on its blockchain. There are a few notable projects, notable dApps already being built. One, which allows anyone in the world to contribute to a community's universal basic income scheme, as well as another, which is a crowdfunding platform for social causes. Now, whether or not those dApps have a future yet to be seen, but either way, they're building on Celo. And digging in to this news that just dropped yesterday, on Tuesday, Deutsche Telekom announced it is purchasing tokens issued by Celo. So knowing that, we have some insight into now Deutsche Telekom's relationship with Celo. According to their corporate executive, Andreas Dietrich, who helps lead the company's blockchain initiative, Deutsche Telekom sees a variety of opportunities using Celo, including remittances. He acknowledged it is a surprise to see this major company partner with a, quote, exotic altcoin, but added that Deutsche Telekom was impressed by the Celo team and that he believes the platform could be huge. Wow, they see a lot of potential growth for Celo. Give me your thoughts down below in the comments section. Seriously, I would love to know what you think. But while Celo today was number four, coming in at coin number three is Yieldapp with their YLD token. Right now trading at 55 cents, a relatively newer slash lower cap project to put on your radar. But two things right off the bat that stand out to me. Number one, Yieldapp is a fully licensed fintech company that enables anyone, anywhere to invest in DeFi. And number two, as of a few weeks ago, Yieldapp launches their Ethereum fund, giving users the opportunity to earn up to 20% APY. Okay, so before we get into this recent news, let's first define what Yieldapp is. Now they are sponsoring this segment of today's video, but what I like is they are in a way letting the sunshine in into a space, DeFi, that has thus far lived in the shadows right? The goal with DeFi is to bring it to everybody. Yieldapp is a licensed fintech company, and thanks to their intuitive web platform, users around the world can start earning returns from DeFi products without having to go through a lengthy, complex, and often costly learning process. So the goal is to lower the barriers of entry of DeFi to the traditional world. The team is public, which I like. They come from the traditional finance slash banking worlds. You can look at all their experience on their LinkedIn. And as you can see, they do have a handful of notable partners backing them. We have Kronos and Alphabet. We have friend of the channel TrustSwap. And we have major player in crypto custody, BitGo. Yieldapp is partnered with BitGo and all wallets are insured protecting users from the all too common rug pull scams seen throughout the DeFi space. And while nothing is guaranteed, anything could happen, I think more companies should do things like this and protect the users. The company was also careful to audit its security contracts and publish the information which they have available. So let's get into this. Yield app launches Ethereum fund gives users up to 20% APY. And if you're interested in earning interest, here are all the assets available with Yield. So like I said, they have Ethereum, USDC, USDT, and their native token, YLD. On Ethereum and on the stable coins, you can earn up to 20%. That's if you meet certain requirements. And notice on each, the base is 10%. The base is 10%, 10%. And then that extra boost, that kick of APY, comes in bonus yield, anywhere from two to 10%. By the way, you can just hold their native token as well and earn yield as well. Holding the token in your yield app wallet allows you to boost your APY, earn interest on your tokens and support our ecosystem. Interesting. So check this out. There are five different tiers for the five different levels of the amount of YLD, their token you hold in your wallet. Now, the more you hodl, that directly corresponds to the amount of APY you earn on your investment. I will actually link this down below if you have the stable coins or ETH and you wanna sort of experiment and calculate the rewards for yourself, check it out, link down below. 
And next up, coming in at number two of altcoins to watch with some solid growth potential is Rally. Right now ranked in the mid 300s, trading at about 77 cents per token per Rally. Rally is an altcoin on a lot of people's radars. And you may remember on our live stream the other day, we looked up on Masari.io crypto database, Coinbase Ventures Portfolio, major cryptocurrency hedge fund. We looked at every single cryptocurrency they owned, sorted it so we could see their lowest altcoin gems. And Rally right here has Coinbase Ventures as a major hodler slash supporter. Coinbase is bullish. And if we look on markets where Rally is listed right now, nope, not on Coinbase yet. Maybe in the future. Now, what is Rally? Well, it is a social token platform. Some people call them creator coins, or more specifically, different creators or influencers are able to launch creator coins off of Rally. And over 95 creators, as of now, are already on the platform. Rally lets influencers create fan engagement tokens that sometimes unlock loyalty perks like behind the scenes access or limited edition swag. And most of Rally's top creator coins right now are from live streaming gamers with the occasional music act thrown in. So let's check out who's on the platform. Hmm, nobody that I have specifically heard of, but they do have Hundreds of people buying their coins. Look at, they looks like Twitch streamers, Twitter influencers launching their own social coins. Pretty interesting. And in a recent piece of news, Rally just raised over $22 million in their native utility token sale on CoinList. So the creator coin startup saw more than 40,000 investors participate in its CoinList distribution, a record for the token sale platform. So interest is there. It seems like a social token platform will be a part of all of our futures. Which one has yet to be determined, but Coinbase Ventures is betting on this social token platform. Give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. For me personally, Altcoin Daily right now, we're just watchers at the moment. I have no interest in creating my own social token, but for everybody else, the interest is undeniable. Give me your thoughts down below in the comment section. Coming in at number one of altcoin projects with some solid growth potential is NFT platform Origin Protocol with their OGN token. Right now, valued at $1.58 per token per OGN. The NFT space in general is only getting bigger. And why OGN makes our list today is because Origin Protocol, OGN, has recently partnered with Google Cloud for an NFT marketplace. So yes, we have places like OpenSea right now, which are popular in the crypto community. That still exists. This is just opening up the potential audience to so many more people. So let's check this partnership out. And by the way, you know Origin. We did put them on your radar very recently when they announced an NFT sale with Grammy award-winning hip hop artist, Lupe Fiasco, as well as internet sensation and pro boxer, Jake Paul. Interesting, the celebs are taking notice and now individual people can set up their own D-shop on the Google Cloud Marketplace. Now, what is Origin D-shop? Well, it's just a way for you to interact with Web3, run and grow your business with dshop a customizable and open source e-commerce platform built on the decentralized web and again the big news for today is that's now accessible on google's cloud marketplace so a lot of exposure to the nft space a lot of exposure for origin i think give me your thoughts down below that is the video. If I missed an altcoin, comment below. I will be reading. Let's all check the comment section together. But like always, see you tomorrow. Leave a comment. Do it.